Yahweh set it up perfectly. Hallelujah. Decent and in order. The spirit comes through him. Yahweh sits on his throne and gives us exactly what we need. Hallelujah. For when we need it. But let's all rise. Let's receive. Let's receive our beloved prophet Washington by saying praise Yahweh. Say. Praise Yahweh, everyone. Amen. We all can be seated. Amen. Truly want to thank Yahweh for waking me up this morning. Amen. Bless me to be able to come into his humble house of praise and worship. Amen. And uh, truly want to give the honor to Apostle Washington. As always, I spoke to him this morning and he uh, sent his, he sent his love unto you all. Let's continue in the faith here. So thank y'all for my beautiful wife and the children that he blessed us both with. As always, I would say that I see it as an opportunity to be able to raise them up just as my father, my mother did, me and my siblings. Amen. Amen. And this is the best place for them. Hallelujah. Uh, see about, see, read and hear about so many different deaths out there in the world. And uh, we definitely have Pastor Bibbs in our prayers that Yahweh touch his body. Amen. Uh, but this is the best place for us. Amen. Whether we this flesh like it or not, we come into the house of Yahweh so that we can be taught of his way. At least that should be your purpose. Yeah. Yeah. To be able to come into his house, to be taught of, uh, of holiness. Yes, Lord. To be able to get it within you, amen, and go back into the world and manifest it into those that are continuing to walk in darkness. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So yeah. it's just more to it than just coming into the house of Yahweh, yeah. sitting here and keeping the seat warm. Right. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. It's more to it than coming here and being on one accord with black and white. Right. Right more to it than that but for us to continue to grow in the grace and the knowledge thereof that is within Yahshua the Messiah and that's exactly what's taking place here so I thank Yahweh for the opportunity to be able to come in and I myself be able to sit down and hear words from these men which the Lord has set up through Apostle Washington and allow my spirit to also be fed amen I am I'm a man just like Apostle Peter spoke they were a man of like passion Amen. And so just as the same devil come and try you, Brother Peter. Amen. He also come and tries me. Amen. Try try us all. Amen. But the more you continue to fight this, to fight Satan, the more you learn. And I pray that you are learning. Yes, Lord. Uh, because you, you know when somebody is learning, they walk and it, it, it uh, proves that. Amen. They talk, it proves that. The peace that they continue to carry, it proves that. So I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm learning even more and more. Many of y'all heard, have heard through Apostle Washington the, the latest incident of spirit driven. Hallelujah. Amen. And so after I got word of it and got off the phone, and I felt myself with no emotion. <laughs> Amen. Could it be in the fact because this doesn't happen to me so many times? You can become numb. <laughs> Immune to it. But I, I see how the spirit operates. Mm -hmm. Amen, huh? The Spirit teaches us all how we should possess this vessel in sanctification and honor. Amen. And I just begin to just thank Yahweh. Amen. And yeah. know that the Lord, He's still involved in my life. Yeah. And as long as I have Him, Amen, all things will be well in my life. Yes, Lord. I continue to have peace. Amen. amen. These earthly things, they are temporal. Yeah. Hallelujah. But that which the Spirit has to give unto us is eternal. And so that's why I keep coming in here, amen, so the Spirit can continue to shape me yes, and mold Lord. me amen. to be the prophet, amen, to be the brother, to be the husband, to be the father that I need to be. Amen. amen. And I trust that we all have that same desire for the Spirit to continue to shape and mold you. Amen. But in this way here, it does, the Spirit does what it needs to. Hallelujah. The Spirit knows the things that you and all I may all go through. Amen. So how certain trials and tribulations, they do manifest itself. And the Spirit is trying its best. But there's something that you and I have to do. Amen, huh? There's something that you and I have to do. The Spirit is always trying to correct us and prepare us for whenever the Lord does return. Apostle Washington, he spoke, I believe, maybe uh, that Tuesday or Sunday. And he said something. Like I said, I'm always examining myself. I don't have time to, to look towards my brother that's next to me. It's that very moment when I decide to try to judge you, the Lord just may come. 
But he said something, and you know, I took it to heart. He said he looked upon us all. He said the truth of the matter is that all of us is not going to see the Lord in peace. Right. Amen. He spoke about the good man that if he had kept watch, that he would have never suffered his house to be broken into. Right. 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 Amen. Satan is only able to break in, amen, and come and kill and steal and destroy if we allow him to. Amen. Hallelujah, huh? So someone that's that's very diligent, very watchful and all of that, you know, we all are very aware. There's some people out there, they got homes, they got houses and all that. Just locking the door is not enough. Amen. Hallelujah. And sometimes they put a dead boat on it. It's not enough. Mm -hmm. So they set up cameras and all that security cameras just to make sure that that whoever is thinking about it, they'll, they'll second guess it. Amen. They'll change their mind. Nah, they got too much going on over here. I see that camera right there. Hallelujah. That, that light come on. And I have to up the security at my house. Uh, somebody not too long ago stole the lights off my truck. <laughs> mm -hmm. They did it while I wasn't looking. Uh, I was there, but I wasn't looking. Mm, hallelujah. I thought the vehicle was safe in the front yard. It's my yard. Always has been since I took over, right? Amen. But yet they came in the middle of the night. I walked out that morning to go to work, and I saw some wiring hanging in the back of that truck. Looked over there, and they were gone. Amen. So therefore, I had to go ahead and my wife had to put some cameras up. Yeah. Get that ring that they yell at you. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Yeah. The, the light it comes on with your motion sensors and all of that. So if somebody think about doing something, they turn around. Oh, yeah. mm, this house is too protected. Yeah. So is our soul. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. When, you, when you find yourself doing the very thing. See, just so, just, in other words, just coming here is not enough. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Just just coming here is not enough. And that's the reason why Apostle Washington, amen, he can just judge the fruit of, of an individual. Not being in your presence, but at the same time, he can judge the end of the, 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 the fruits that you and I possess. Here. So just coming to the house of Yahweh is not enough. Amen. So therefore, whenever we leave, you have to give yourself up. We heard young brothers talk about going on a concentration. Amen. Going on a fast. All of these things. Up in the security. Amen. Up in the safety of your soul. Keeping watch. And so when Satan sees that, he can't do nothing about that. When he sees what you got, he can't do nothing about that. But that's something that you and I have to do. Amen. Huh? Because Satan, he's not done. Hallelujah. As long as you and I continue to draw bread. Amen. As long as you and I continue to draw bread, is that is given unto him to make war with the saints. Yeah, that's you. Amen. Yeah, that's me. Continue to make war with us and to overcome. Hallelujah. Huh? And to overcome. You're trying to take back as many souls as possible. Apostle Paul said that uh, many have walked of whom I have told you often. Amen. And now I tell you weeping that they are the enemies of the Messiah. They're the enemies of the cross here. So there also be those that will end up falling on this race here, Amen. this journey here. And Amen. we'll look back in and then watching an old service tape of what's today? The, the February the 3rd, 4th, I believe. February the 4th of 2024. If Yahweh allow us to see longer days. That some of us may not be here. Right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. You read about how the children of Israel, how they all desired to be delivered from bondage. Right. For 400 years, they was oppressed. Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. Huh? Right. Hallelujah. Seeking and waiting for that day to come. But there was something that they all have to do. Amen. Right. Amen. Deliverance did come and the children of Israel was set free from Egypt. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. But just because you start this thing off right, right, that don't mean that you're going to see the end. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. That was a promised land that awaited them all. Right. But some began to fall. Yeah. Amen. Began to question, began to get weak. Amen. Right. And it speaks about a generation that, that did not enter into the promised land. Right. And so, like I said, 
We don't know when the day that the Lord is going to return. Many of us will be found the way that we are, whether we're in holiness or whether we're not. But it's your job to see to it that you continue to keep watch. Amen. Amen. At this time, I call everyone's attention to 1 Timothy chapter 4. Hallelujah, huh? You want to get this in, in you as much as possible. Because we will draw our last breath. Amen, huh? Amen. This morning I woke up, I, I was thinking about Mother Brenda. And then not too long after my mother, she called me and she had shared with me that her uncle on her mother's side had passed. My uncle Johnny. He called himself to be a preacher. I, amen, huh? But he was a false prophet. And then we come to find out that if y'all been watching news, that there was a, a police chase somewhere in Dallas and four young individuals died crashing. And one of the individuals in that car was my cousin, his granddaughter, 22 years old. Hmm? Both of them died. Amen. So you and I, we don't know when we're going to draw our last breath. So we that like to play church, uh -huh. amen, like to pretend and Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. That's why my father said, and I look and I look upon the body, I see that many of us won't see the Lord in peace. Amen, Amen huh? That's why I have to rectify, I have to fix the way that I once walked. Amen. When Yahweh blessed me with the opportunity to to uh, uh, elude death, bullets passed by my head. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Did those six and a half years in prison, yes, seeing men uh, 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 getting beat up, oh, yeah, yeah. Amen. men getting stabbed, yeah. men in there committing suicide, uh -huh. men in there having heart attack. One guy, a young man that was well, used to work out with me, yes, his family came in to visit him. He supposed to have been getting out a month later, yeah. died of a heart attack. He went to the clinic there complaining about his heart. Right. Yeah. Amen, huh? Yeah. And they said, there's nothing wrong with you. Gave him some placebo pills. Told him to go back. Yeah. He went back to the unit, laid back down. Yeah. Got back up, spoke to his son and said, no, something ain't right. Something ain't right. right, right. Went back to the clinic. Amen. Yeah. They yeah. sent him off again. Yeah. He died in his sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That, yeah. Just giving something for y'all for us all to think about. Yeah. We that don't take the words of Yahweh as we should. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. We that don't take this thing serious. And so the more sober I became, the more I began to reflect on the things that the Lord delivered me from. Amen. Stop playing with them. Stop gambling it. When the Bible speaks about shall we continue in sin, that grace may abound. It says, God forbid. God forbid. Hallelujah, huh? Anytime anybody, when any one of us seek counsel, and I want you to hear it clearly. Anytime anyone you seek counsel, but there's safety in it. What's the purpose of you seeking counsel and you don't follow it? Amen. Hallelujah. The Spirit advised you if I, if I were you, if I were you, hallelujah. If I were you, because clearly you can't see yourself. So I'm trying to get you to see yourself through me. If I were you, I wouldn't do this, brother. I wouldn't do that, sister. But at the same time, amen, we don't hearken to it. Amen. And then that very counsel that you're supposed to be receiving. Um, hallelujah, huh? When you don't follow it, it becomes sin unto you. And you end up killing yourself off. Amen. So you have to keep watch. Yeah, Yeshua told Apostle Peter, he said, Satan desires to sit you as we. He said, but I prayed for you, Peter. That's what we do here. We, we, we pray for one another. I woke up this morning with the people on my mind, the body on my mind. I pray for you that your faith fail if not. Your faith. I have mine. I have mine. He said, but that your faith fail if not. It's something that you got to do. Hallelujah. So if counsel is given unto you, receive it. And take heed. Amen. You got it there, brother. Let's go ahead. Four one. Yes, sir. Now the Spirit speak, speaketh expressly. Now the Spirit is speaketh expressly. That in the latter times some shall the depart Spirit from the faith. The Spirit is speaking very clearly. Uh huh. Expressly. Mm -hmm. It speaketh very clearly. Yes, Lord. That some 
In the latter times, uh -huh. some shall depart from the faith. That some shall depart from the faith. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Giving heed to seducing spirits. And doctrines of the devil. And you don't follow that counsel that's given unto you. Right. You're following something. Right. Amen. You, you didn't origin, uh, or, uh, uh, originate the thought. Right. 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 That, that's two spirits that's warring within us. Yes, Lord. Amen. That, that's one that is of the Lord and the other one is of Satan. Hallelujah. So if you don't take the counsel that's been given unto you, you begin to take heed to another spirit. Yes, Lord. Seducing spirit. A seducing spirit. A spirit uh -huh. is going to cause you to be contrary. Uh -huh. Amen. To the very truth that you're receiving here in the house of Yahweh. You have to watch out for that. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Read it. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Heineken said, giving heed to seducing spirit. Uh huh. We're giving heed to seducing spirits. Seducing spirit gonna tell you what you want to hear. Uh huh. Huh? It gonna seduce you. They do the opposite of what the spirit told. Amen. Huh? Spirit tells some of us, if I were you, I wouldn't drink. Oh yeah. Amen, huh? A hint to a fool that should be enough. That should be is it sufficient to the wise? The spirit advises you to stay away from a certain sister or brother in here. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. You should take heed to it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's safety in it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because there's a spirit that's going on. That's a seduction. Do the opposite. Do something wrong that's contrary to the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah, huh? Amen. The spirit always have our best interests at heart. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But the question is, how many of us really want salvation? Hallelujah. How many of us truly want salvation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah is not enough. Yes, Lord. We got to do it. The Lord said that they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Hearts are far from me. Amen. Amen is not enough. Amen. You only say amen because you attest. Otherwise, you agree to what the Spirit is sharing with you. Yes, Lord. Amen. I, I, I receive that. Amen, huh? But how many pretenders do we have? Oh, yeah. Now, the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart Some from the faith. Some shall depart from the faith. Just look around. Uh -huh. There's many brothers and sisters no longer of faith. Amen. Some are husbands. Some are wives. Amen. They departed. Some are children. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, some are mothers. Some are fathers. Amen. They have departed from the faith. Amen. Giving heed. Giving heed. Some, some came along and uh -huh. spoke to them. Yes, sir. Seduced them, huh? Uh -huh. He's, Pastor, uh, uh, Paul once said, you did run well. Huh? Who did hinder you? What came along and seduced you? Yeah. Even here, yeah. amen, the spirit been going forth lately about how you better mark those that walk this order. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw something the other day, amen, that my spirit didn't like. Huh? Such a conduct, uh, uh, a reproach, in other words, disapproving what the spirit is saying. Yeah. You better mark them that walk disorderly. Yeah. Yeah. The spirit got no respect to person. Hallelujah. You are old enough to understand it's talking to you. Oh, yeah. I looked and I said, Lord, please forgive them. Some of us have the audacity to come in the house of Yahweh and where it go for them. No, not me. I'm not going to do that. Boldly declare. You got to watch out for those spirits. Anybody that's walking contrary, they got a seducing spirit. Uh -huh. It's going to seduce you to do yes. the opposite. Yes, to walk contrary, uh -huh. amen, to what the spirit is instructing. Uh -huh. Apostle Paul, he says, he spoke, I said, he said, I beseech you. We always begging you. Yes. Because we see the destruction that's before you. Amen. My father, he begged me. Hallelujah, yes. huh? Yes, the spirit, it pleaded, it begged me. Do the dream that Mother Kathy had. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. But he said, I beseech you, brother, mm -hmm. that you mark them that cause division and offense, yeah. contrary to the gospel which you have learned. He said, avoid them. Yeah. Yeah. 